So in this video we're going to create the bullet objects display them on the screen when they're shot and if we have time um, actually make the collision if not we'll do that in the next video. So the first thing we'll actually do is create a copy on write array list and what this is going to do is hold our bullet so you want to um, put the carrot things and then the bullet class that we have created uh, let me actually go ahead and close that uh, name this bullet equals new copy on right array list uh, same thing over here but we're going to end with parentheses and a semicolon and then um, import that class it'll be good and then come down here and one more thing I want to do is we're going to need a way to detect which player has shot it but instead of actually passing which player has shot it we're going to pass the player that it should check collision to and I'll explain that after I just want to go ahead and create this so create um, final uh, player player inside of the uh, um, constructor create a private player up here and in here do this player equals player and go ahead and create the getters and setters and just keep the warnings again to a minimum um, you're barely going to use any of these uh, not in this tutorial but you might in, if you will go ahead and modify it in different ways and stuff and you see how if you create the getters and setters after you do this it says set player but we'll just go ahead and change it again back to uh, this up player equals player and um, so we're gonna create a bullet uh, player one bullet equals new bullet and pass player two because if player one shooting it you think that you're gonna want to collide with player two and that's where you're going to pass because we're going to use this player actually for collision inside of the um, update method of the bullet and you'll see that later on so go ahead and make an exposition which will be player one dot get x or yeah player one dot get actually we'll use the um, yeah get x dot or plus 20 because we're gonna have the x position of the player plus 20 for the width of the image so it creates it right in the edge do um, player one dot get y pose plus 45 um, then you want a 4 for a width 4 for a height because that's our image and you want to pass the images slash uh, bullet dot gif is what I named mine whatever you named yours would be what you want to put there and come down and then we're gonna want to add it to our bullet um, array list so we'll be able to draw it afterwards so take bullets dot add and then player one bullet so every time you um, press the space key it will create a new bullet and add it to the array list and we're gonna actually remove them after they collide or go off the screen so you don't have memory leaks later on to save time we're just gonna copy this it's gonna be the same thing except we're just gonna rename this to player 2 bullet change it in here um, instead of player 1 you're gonna pass player 2 because you're gonna want to collide with player 1 if you're shooting from player 2 and instead of plus 20 we're gonna do minus four because if you're thinking about it you take the x position of the right player minus four for the width of the image and it'll be right on top of that so that's right uh, keep the same y position and we'll go ahead and go to the bullet class and start adding some update stuff um, I actually need to pause the video I'll be right back alright sorry about that so what we're going to use for the um, uh, collision is we're actually going to go ahead and open up the game object so we're going to use that thing I taught you in the last video hold down control and click on game object to open it up where it's defined um, and we're going to go ahead and create a 
protected rectangle since our images are rectangles and name it rec and this is going to be used for um import the class by the way so this is going to be used for the collision and we're uh going to have to do something in the constructor of the bullet and the player class so in here we'll do this dot rec equals new rectangle uh at x position y position width height uh import it here as well go ahead and copy this this is the bullet class go ahead and go up to the constructor and do the same for the player so now that we have rectangles for both players uh, and each bullet that will be created we'll be able to use them for collision so go back to the bullet class and we'll do if um, rec dot intersect in oh, intersects um, player dot rec then you're gonna um, remove it so we're gonna do shooter dot remove this uh... remove bullet in type shooter uh... shooter dot... oh shooter dot bullet dot remove sorry about that and so what this is gonna do is if um... they collide which means the uh, uh, rectangle of the bullet or in the rectangle of the player then it will remove it and we're gonna also want to do this for if it goes off the screen so else if expose is less than uh, five I think it's good for my screen again you probably want to change these numbers for yourself um, and what these two lines mean it's above the enter key and most keyboards you shift and uh, push the button or the key above the uh, enter key and it means um, or basically so if exposition is less than this uh, and less than five or if exposition is greater than uh, I don't know, 595 then you're gonna want to also remove shooter dot bullets dot remove this alright and so now go ahead and run this so now if you push, oh, wow, sorry about that, we're not even drawing them on the screen yet, I totally forgot. So inside a paint component, above where you draw the players, go ahead and create four bullet, bullets, actually, um, just put bullet, and then put bullets on this side of the colon, and that's going to reference the uh, array list we have created, and the reason why we use a copy on and write is because we might be able to, um, or we might be reading from the array list and deleting bullets at the same time. So you're gonna want to use that, or else you'll be getting an error. And you're gonna want to do bullet dot draw g and bullet dot update update this. And you can put zero. Um, if you remember, we used a integer for an ID and bullets don't really need an ID so you can just put a zero there so go ahead and rerun this and you see that it's actually uh, it's actually created a object here and it's created an object here as well uh, space player one player two oh sorry about that you're gonna want to change these to player two I forgot to change that when we made them so go ahead and rerun this really quick and you see if you push this it will um, make the uh, images of the bullet but we have yet to move them so actually in the next video uh, video 8 will probably be the last one we'll go ahead and start moving them across the screen and they'll collide and everything already because we already added that and that should be it afterwards because the next video should cover it all thanks guys for watching and uh, talk to you in the next video